Okay, this is therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. Which looks to be quite a joy by the whatever the freak this is art style. About. Alright, let's play this. La e. E. Taylor Lee? Dr. Kruger is awaiting for you at room 1015. Huh? Wait a second. Where, where the hell am I? <laughs> Welcome to Kruger Health Solutions Corporation. We are the largest leading multi-specialty medical groups in Z2 district. Delivering more than one million patient visits each year. I am Dr. Albert Gerald Kruger, and I'm a freaking vampire. And I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. What? I am not sick. What the hell is a dream therapy? That sounds like such a scam. Don't be afraid, my child. You, you, you gotta trust the guy with red eyes and fangs. I'll have you know that I'm a professional. I'm a PhD in marine biology. I don't think that makes you qualified. Do I look like a dolphin to you? I mean, in all honesty, sort of. Before we start our session, I'd like to go over your basic information. What is your name, my child? Taylor Lee. Age? 19. Pronouns? They, them. What brings you here today, and what are your symptoms? Gah. I said I'm not sick. Very well. Why don't we start with a sanity check? Do you enjoy math, Taylor? No. <laughs> Perfect. Then let's start with some simple math. The rule is very simple. I'll show you a question. You'll need to choose the correct answer from the four cards I provide you. Yay, flashcards! I like learning math. Better be basic edition, otherwise I'm gonna be screwed. Alright, let's get started. I don't know why the light started getting dim. 9 plus 2. Uh, 11. Excellent. Seven divided by seven? Seven! No, one. Excellent! Minus three. Five. Excellent job! Two plus eight. Ten. Excellent job! Eight minus eight. Zero. Magnificent! Two times nine? Uh, 18. Wow, amazing. You've passed the third grade. Seven plus two? Nine. Tres bien, tres bien. Three good. I think that's what that means. It don't make any sense. Three times five. Fifteen. I can't believe it. Nicely done. I'm like, it's basic multiplication. What are you talking about? I can't believe it. Nicely done. Oh. <laughs> Oops, my apologies. What the hell? Was, was that blood? No, it wasn't. That most definitely was. Wait, oh, that's her. <laughs> that most definitely was. No, it wasn't. Now, Taylor, time is ticking. Focus on your question first. Why am I doing, like, the Half-Life Doctor voice? Hello, Gordon! <laughs> Sex plus nine? <laughs> I know this one. Sixty-nine! No. It's fifteen. Fifteen. Wow, amazing! Wonderful job! It's time for me to eat you now! You've got all of them correct. You 
must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. Why don't we take a little short break? Um, sure. Let me turn up the music. I'm gonna turn it down because I don't like how loud that is. No. Much better. How's it going? Huh? How are you feeling? Everything alright? Yeah, I'm a bit confused, but otherwise all good. How's school? Pretty much the same. You a college student? Yeah. Sweet! Are you from G2? Yeah, been living here my whole life. What is G2? What about you? You from around here as well? Yes, I was born in G2. <laughs> However, I did not attend college here. As I was a baby, <laughs> I went to G4 for my, for my post-secondary education. Oh, RMU? Yes. That's a pretty dope school. Thank you. Is this nose bleeding? Alright, break's over. Let's move on to the next section of our therapy, shall we? Okay. For this section, we're gonna play a game. A very classic one. It is called the Shell Game. Have you heard of that? The Shell Game? Not really. Yeah, I know what the freaking shell game is. It's the one where they, like, switch around the cups or shells or whatever the case may be. It's what commonly known as cups and bowls. Oh, that. I suck at that game. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? What do you say? Love the enthusiasm. Man, I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna move up and his face gonna be all freaking screwed up. As you can see, I have three cups over here. And in one of them, I will be placing a... Uh, hmm. Pardon me, but it seems that we don't have any balls here. <laughs> uh, let me go get one. And I'll rip off his own testicle, I swear to god. <laughs> What in the hell is going on? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Whoa. Thank you for your patience, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. What the hell happened out there? Did you hear that? Hear what? The scream. What scream? This is a waste of time. Shall we proceed with the therapy? No! I have three cuts over here. Ooh, god, it was an eyeball. And one of them I will be placing a ball under it. What the fuck, man? That's not a ball. That's a freaking eyeball. An eyeball is a ball. It is a sphere. No, that's not what I meant. Where the heck did you get it? It was donated by a former patient. Why would you use that for cups and balls? This is messed up. Actually, according to the contract, we are free to use it however we want. Jesus fucking Christ. Any other inquiries? You know, the faster we finish this section, the sooner I can put it back. Okay, okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be shifting these three cups around. You will tell me which one you think has the ball. Is that clear? Yes, I know how this game works. Perfect! Here we go! Uh, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> In full honesty. I was just expecting his face to do something scary behind there. But I appreciate the effort the correct answer is. Ta-da! Let's try again.
I can't believe it. Nicely done. I have no idea. <laughs> but I appreciate the effort. The correct answer is... Middle, ta-da! Let's try again. Oh god, did you see his face? Did you see his freaking face? Oh, no. You might want to put that on your face, pal. I mean, you freaking don't have eyes anymore. Oh god, I'm gonna have freaking drama from this crap. Uh, therapy my ass. Mmm, <laughs> she didn't have a mouth that time. Try a little harder. The correct answer is... Yeah. Ta uh, hello? Just try a little harder next time. You'll get it. The correct answer is... Good effort, Taylor. Your performance wasn't the best, but I know you will do better next time. Oh, and your face is all fine and dandy now? You always have that weird freaking... Care Bear's phone on your freaking desk. <laughs> Let's take another break, shall we? Sure. Awesome. Let me turn up the music. <laughs> Pardon me. Albert Kruger speaking. How may I help you? Hmm. Is that so? Well, I'm sure you're competent enough to come up with a plan, am I correct? No, William. We're not killing it. I'd prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving into that. Now, please excuse me. I'm with a patient at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounded pretty serious. Thank you for your concern, but I appreciate it very much. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Um, okay. That's good to know. By the way, your last name is Kruger, right? That is correct. Just kind of curious, does that mean you're the CEO? Good catch, Taylor! Yes, I am... Yes, I am indeed the CEO of Kruger Corporation! In fact, my father was the one who created this company. All I did was simply take over after his death. And you've done a fine job, sir. Is that why you came back from G4? To take over your family's business? Yes! Yes, it is part of my destiny! I, I see. But damn, I gotta say, I'm pretty honored to receive therapy from the CEO himself. You are too kind, Taylor. It's almost as if I don't know what the freak I'm doing at all! I, I'm simply... I just simp... I'm just simply do- okay. I'm just simply doing what I enjoy doing. Can we diagnose my dy dyslexia? That'd be freaking nice. And not to mention, I enjoy talking to you very much. Um, I'm glad. I, I say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Uh, sure. This section is a bit different. It is not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you better. Or as how I usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. The gateway to my heart? Gateway to your heart. Open it, th it'll be a start. Then you can make all your dreams all come true. I don't know. Yes, I will be asking you a series of questions, and I'd like you to answer them honestly. Huh, what kind of questions? All kinds of questions that are about you. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> it's an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. This ain't fair, you know. I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Hmm, well, I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me something about you, I'll tell you something about me in return? Hmm. That's tempting. But how do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is extremely important between a patient and their therapist. It is essential for, for the work to go as far as it needs to. Okay, fine, whatever. Excellent, however, I do have some request. I mean, one request. 
You'll have to close your eyes for this section. Oh, freaking screw you. And no matter what happens, you can't open your eyes till I tell you to do so. Can I trust you on that? No. My ass? Yes, perfect. My first question is, can you feel my teeth digging into your throat? What was it like growing up in your family? Hmm, nothing extraordinary. My parents were immigrants who came to G2 to seek opportunities. I had two siblings, and we used to all live under the same roof with our parents. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, but as a whole, it was a pretty happy experience. What about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Both of my parents were well-known figures in the medical field. Yeah, that's ordinary. They were very busy people. However, what's different from you is I was the only child. I, I see. Should I open my eyes? Uh, no. My second question is... How connected do you feel to the couple uh, people around here? Hmm. Well, I'm not very popular in schools, but I do have a few good friends that I feel deeply connected to, and my family as well. We understand and respect each other very well. That's good. It is important to have friends and families that support you. Well, what about you? Do you feel connected to the people around you? Of course! The freak is that? They all mean a lot to me. I guess that's a very professional view. What the heck were all these noises? I'll say no, because I don't want to see like a... something scary in my face. If you could wave a magic wand, what positive changes would make happen and would you make happen in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. There's really nothing I'd like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. I mean, not right now, like in this office. It is always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you change? Hmm. I guess the world could have less mediocre people. Hmm. Is he having fun with this banjo? Excuse me? I'm just joking. I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. Uh-huh. Something feels off. What is this weird guitar sound? <laughs> Should I open my eyes? No. Last question. Have you ever had the urge to murder someone in your life? Or maybe dismember them into pieces? No. And make them into a hamburger? Excuse me? Of course not. This is messed up. Have you? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no. That's... that's not... <laughs> I'm feeling really uneasy. <laughs> Should I open my eyes? Do you have more blood on you than you did before? Why did you open your eyes, Taylor? Thank you for your cooperation, Taylor. You are now free to reopen your eye. How we take another short break? Let me make the music louder. Why? I hear a drunk guy in the background. Um, do you hear that? He's probably gonna go, hit what? Uh, my apologies for such unpleasant experience. Now if you'll excuse me, I will go handle that. Why don't you watch some videos at the meantime? Um, okay. I'll put on some videos. Albert... Yes? Please don't kill him. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> of course I won't. Who, who do you think I am? A killer? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know you're shooting me with itchy and scratchy, but, um... Kruger Corporation. This almost feels like a real advertisement. <laughs> I 
and he'll be right back. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello again, Taylor. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was, uh, a pretty cool commercial. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, it is a bit out of date. I plan to update it soon. Um, I see. Did things get resolved with that dude? Yes, resolved. Peacefully. He died in his sleep. <laughs> that's, that's good. Are we ready for the next round of therapy? Yes, sure. This section is going to be a lot more fun than the previous ones. Have you by any chance heard of the Rorschach ch test, Jailer? Rorschach test? Isn't that the thing where they show you a picture and ask what you see? Oh, the ink blots. Th this, that is correct, man. I'm gonna see a blood splatter immediately. Hey there, there's gonna be a picture of him. Developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorder and examine a person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning. So for this section, I will be showing you a series of ink blots. And you will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? He, yeah, crystal clear. All right, here we go. Rabbit, rug, face, bear, human, moth. I was gonna go for a flower, but like, uh, person. Is that what you see? It's like a bunny pooping out a freaking something. Yeah, we'll say rabbit. Fascinating choice. Butterfly, moth, human, elephant, bat, rug. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I want to say a, f a person's face. Interesting joys. These are some scary looking ink, ink blots. I want to say a tree. Well, it's not there, so... Uh, you know what, robot? <laughs> Is that what you see? Oh... Uh, Crab. I don't know, I'm gonna say face. Interesting, very interesting. Oh, well that's quite clear what that is. <sighs> Dismemberment, slaughter, murder, regret, suffer. Psycho, yeah. Is that what you see? Uh okay. Is that what you see? Ooh, Jeff the Killer. Fascinating choice. Oh, not without eyes. It's my least favorite. Yeah, I guess it looks the most like a robot and slaughter. Quite the imagination. Good job, Taylor. That was incredibly fascinating. Well done, Taylor. Well done. I am so proud of you. I hate to say this, but we're getting close to the end of our therapy. I just want to say I really enjoyed speaking to you. I really appreciate that you chose Kruger Corporation. Hmm, I actually didn't, but no worries. It was also a very interesting session for me. I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. That means a lot to me. Now you ask, what was your favorite section of therapy? Favorite section? Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm so glad to hear that. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? That would mean a lot to me. Sure.
it was all good. Yeah, good stuff. Thanks a lot. That was a big help. Before I let you, before I let you go, can I have one last request? Sure. What is it? Will you? Will you sacrifice yourself for the G2 district? No. I'd, ra I'd rather not. Uh huh. We need you for building a better future of G2. We need you to feed the hungry people of G2 district. Yeah, no. G2 is our hometown. We need to make G2 better. What do you mean, feed the hungry people? My children have been starving. Don't show me your children. They will be grateful to you forever. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution to G2 District. One of three. Oh, crappy. A game by Gino9999. You want to skip? Yes. No, Taylor, it is incredibly rude to skip over all our conversation. Okay. Thank you for playing this game! Oh, well, that's nice. Yo! <laughs> Good to see that you're doing fine. As you can see, I'm very fucked. Huh. What a waste. I need to finish my intestines. But it's okay. This does not need to happen to you. The thing is, Albert seems to be using dream therapy as a way to find a certain type of people. So maybe, get all the questions right. Be you know, as obedient as possible, don't question them. Maybe that way you can save yourself from getting the same fate as I do. Why don't you go ahead and find out? I, 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 I'd rather not, frankly. <sighs> Freaking hair on my back of my neck is just like spears right now. <laughs> well, that that was therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. Bye. <laughs>